Okay, so picture this. You are about to embark on a culinary adventure with a tomato sauce that will revolutionize your cooking experience. Imagine having a delectable batch of this sauce, perfectly portioned and waiting for you in the freezer. Whether you are just a busy professional or just crave convenience, trust me, I have you covered. Hey there, amazing people. It's your friendly dragon here, and I am thrilled to have you joining me today as we dive into the mouth-watering flavors of this all-in-one tomato sauce, also known as Napolitan sauce. Whether you are in a mood for a sensational pizza, a mouth-watering pasta, a hearty bolognese, guys, this sauce got you covered. That's right, guys. This all-in-one sauce lives up to its name. But wait, there's more. The cherry tomato on top is that it's 100% vegan. So all you plant-based eaters out there can join in on the indulgence too. Let's channel our inner chef and embark on this culinary journey together. What's cooking good lookings? You know the drill. Add a pot to the stove and switch it on to a medium heat. Add in 200 ml of olive oil and let it heat up. Once you see the oil is hot, it will become loose and you will see ripples on top of the oil. Add in 400 grams of roughly chopped onions and let them swim in the jacuzzi of oil for about 5 minutes. Now add in 200 grams of chopped carrots to the party. Let them get an oil massage till they soften up a bit which will take around 5 minutes. Now add 80 grams of naked garlic and let that socialize with the onions and carrots for 5 minutes or so till they get to know each other well. Now that they have become friends, let's make the circle bigger with 150 grams of chopped celery, 150 grams of chopped leeks. Let them get to know each other for a further 5 to 10 minutes. Now they are going to need something that's going to break them down. So we give them the famous white powder, 15 grams of salt. Now remember, we will add more salt later to enhance the flavor. Now mellow the party outward, five grams of thyme, and mix that up so it can break down well. Remember, we don't do seed stems and sticks. So we will remove the stems and sticks a bit later. Let that cook for further 10 minutes till they all are broken down and dehydrated. Remember, you gotta keep on checking the pot and mixing so it doesn't stick on the bottom or burn. As you can see, they're almost dehydrated. We add in 30 grams of tomato paste to soak up some of that oil and let that cook for a further two minutes. And guys, as always, I have the full recipe in the description below. Now, as you can see, they need a wash down. So we give them a Virgin Mary. One kg of whole peeled tomatoes. and chase it with a little bit of water and mix them up well. Add in 800 grams of plum tomatoes just because we love extra umami and mix it up well again. And because leafy greens are good for your diet, we add in three grams of oregano and a little more white powder for a pick-me-up in flavor. And we all need a spicy life, so three grams of fresh cracked black pepper to spice up their life. <laughs> Mix well so everyone can get a little spice. I'll give them a little more wash down to keep them hydrated because we are going to turn up the heat in the jacuzzi to a medium high heat and let them bubble away for the next half hour till those tomatoes lose their weight and start disappearing not plump like me. Make sure you taste and then put a lid on it and let it break down, checking up every 5 minutes so it does not catch on the bottom and burn. If you are enjoying this video, go and click the like button so I can continue making videos that you enjoy. And if you are not subscribed to the channel yet, go and smash that subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can be up to date on all my upcoming videos. Also drop a comment letting me know what you think, I would really love to hear from you. As you can see the tomatoes lost some weight, I am going to leave the lid off so the liquid can pull a houdini on us and vanish approximately 10 minutes. Now as the sauce was cooking, I removed them sticks and stems so they won't be a problem a bit later. 
Remember, taste, 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 as I keep on saying. 10 minutes have passed and the liquid has concentrated and the sauce is looking good right now. So I will blend up the sauce with a stick blender and bring it back to the stove. It's time to make this sauce a symphony for your taste buds. Let's blend them up and make them say, we come one. Blend it up till it's nice and smooth. Always start with a low speed and work your way faster. Or else, hot liquid and blending, not a good combination. You will burn yourself. Once you got it smooth enough, now add the basil and give it another blend. You don't want to add soft herbs too early in the cooking process because you will kill the flavor of the herb. Remember that. Now we cook this down for a further 5 minutes and we are done. There you have it, the ultimate tomato sauce. The only recipe you need and you can use this to do it all. Pasta, pizza, casserole, soup and much more. Thank you for watching. Till the next time Lani.